Competitive examination is going to be a very important junction of your life. It is going to involve a lot of effort and more importantly, a lot of your time for its preparation. Now, when you are investing that much amount of effort and time towards anything, you want to make sure whether the investment is worth it according to you. Because a lot of times we make a decision based on the influence and 10 years later we found out that that wasn't really my decision at all. I wanted to do something else. So at this point, at the right time, we want to make the right decision. I've appeared in gate examination three times and I've been seeing this examination since 2014. That amount of experience gives me not only what happens before or what kind of people make what decision, but also what kind of results people got four or five years after they appeared in that examination or decided to prepare for that examination. So based on that experiences, it's going to be pretty simple. Three whys you should be appearing in gate examination and three why not. Quick and easy, you are going to understand it. It will be applicable for everyone even if you think that you should appear in gate examination. Well, think again and give it a thought. 10 minutes can save years of your time. The first reason why you should be appearing in gate examination is let us say in a case you are studying in a college which does not have any placement or it has placement but it has placements only in software companies and you are from core field let us say electrical civil engineering or mechanical engineering. And that's a very common case even in IITs core companies are very rare. So what are you going to do in that case if you're from core core field and also, you are interested to work in that field. If both of them are yes, yes, then GATE is an option because it is going to give you job offers uh, in the domain of core big gigantic industries like we all know ONGC, Indian Space Research Organization, Bhav Atomic Research Center, Bharat Heavy Earth Movers, these kind of companies which come at least partially under government domain which is going to have its recruitment through gate examination. Or if not even that, there are going to be other examinations similar to this, which we are going to talk about in the third point. So if you are interested to work in core field and your college does not offer such placements, then gate is a good option for you. Second one, you want to pursue higher education masters from IITs or top universities of this country, then gate is a good option. Now you can go for higher studies or MS abroad as well. But if you have set a target that you want to do from top institute of this country, then gate is the only way in. There's no other way in. So you have to not only appear in gate, but you have to perform very well. Let us say you are targeting IC Bangalore, then you are looking at a rank requirement of less than 50 in mechanical engineering. And sometimes even that falls short if you're looking for a specific branch. So you have to perform very well, but at least uh, up till the rank of 200 or 300 you need for MTech. There are other programs as well. MS, direct PhD is not going to cover over here, but that's the best case scenario. Now, finally, if you are interested in other jobs, which are in government domain, like PSUs, like WISAC or uh, CIL or BARC, which conducts its own examination as well, ISRO, which only conducts its own examination through ICRB, ISRO Central Recruitment Board. And there are a lot of other companies in government domain which hires through their own examination, but gate examination is always playing as the core of all of these examination. Their pattern might be different, number of question for a particular amount of time might be different, but the preparation strategy is always the same because, of, because most of the people who are appearing for gate examination are the ones who are going to appear in these examination as well. And why shouldn't you? If you are aiming towards ISRO, you are definitely going to sit for GATE, just increases your chances to get something out of a year long preparation. So these three are the reasons why you should be appearing in GATE examination. Few other reasons, uh, just, I just want to cover it, but it is kind of a side thing. So if your college has no placement, that is not the reason sufficient for you to go for GATE examination because what you're looking towards is that I want a job. So if the question is, I want a job, what should I do? The answer is not gate. The answer is you have to look for a job in outside the campus of your college. You are now in the open market and gate is one of the options and which is always going to be yes, 
if you are interested to work in core field that is gate all about for gate preparation that is what you are going to do all technical it has just a very fraction small fraction of aptitude that's it and engineering mathematics and all the other technical subjects are highly technical it is 100% technical there is no other ga gs and all those current affairs so preparation is technical the interview is going to be technical the work is going to be technical so if you are interested to work in the domain in which you have graduated that's when you should be appearing in gate examination and why not and what scenarios you should not be appearing in gate examination that's what we are going to discuss now the number one reason is still connected to the last point that i discussed is that if you are not interested in a core job it is not necessary that you have to spend rest of your life doing what you studied in engineering not a lot of people but actually most of the people end up doing something else not what they graduated in so there's nothing wrong in that a lot of time we figure out about ourselves deep into our whole journey and in engineering that we want to do something else or you chose a field chose a branch and you found out that i'm not really interested in it a lot of mechanical engineers turn out to be coders a lot of coders turn out to be construction engineers there's no limit to it especially in this day and age i've seen a lot of such examples so you have to first figure out what you are interested in and if the answer says that i'm not really interested in what i studied for four years or so far then gate is definitely not the way out for you because like i said the preparation is technical and after that it is technical the interview is technical everything is 100% technical so if you hate it how the hell are you going to cross a year long journey so it is definitely not for you in that case now i've discussed about this a little bit just few minutes ago but now i'm going to discuss it about it in detail if you need a job no specific interest in a particular field i just need a job which is completely understandable maybe you had educational loan maybe you need to take care of yourself maybe you need to take care of something else you need financial income that's it so in that case there are multiple other ways of getting job and gate is a very small option if you really look at the statistics it is less than 3% of people who graduate who actually spend their time seriously to prepare for gate examination and the reason is very much justified because that's how much are actually suited for this examination but the problem is that every graduate almost everyone at some point or the other thought about maybe i should prepare for gate examination and spent time in that and then left it maybe spent money in that as well and then left it i don't want these to be be wasted your your two essential resources time and money should not be wasted so you make your decisions properly and if you are a little bit confused whether this exam is for me or not start with free resources do not invest any money at least all right so finally the last reason why you should not appear in gate examination this came as a surprise to me as well but it is actually happening if you want to become a teacher in a coaching institute and i have already seen people who have performed very well in gate examination turns out the only reason they appeared in gate examination is because they thought that the life of a coaching institute teacher is amazing well some of them are definitely having a great life might not be the only reason the coaching institute might not be the only reason but the reality is that i've seen a lot of uh, teachers earning as low as let us say 30000 or 40000 a month now to some that would be a lot of money but then again there are a lot of contracts and foundations and you need to think about that properly now i've been seeing this whole industry for the past 3 to 4 years as well so i understand i know people who are working over there i know people who have been working over there for 5 to 6 years a lot of times more than that a lot of them has come on this podcast as well uh, they are not going to talk about a lot of inside stuff over there but one thing i can say is that this is not a long lasting career for most of the people because it becomes repetitive and also these days because of online coaching institutes it becomes kind of a problem like you have to always be in public 
i and you have to do free classes and things like that does not happen everywhere i'm not saying that but if you're thinking that this was your career you might want to think again and maybe talk to those people who are actually working over there and don't talk to just one talk to like 10 of those people and maybe you'll understand in a better manner but this is personally saying a stupid target like you want to crack an exam so that you can coach others who want to crack that examination it's like snake biting its own tail what is going on over there i thought that this is just a means for you to start a career turns out that this is your career well out of thousands of other careers couldn't you think about anything else i know a lot of people who are teaching in coaching institutes but that's not how they started later on they found out that teaching is my interest but if if you said teaching is my interest why teach in coaching institutes why not do do masters do phd and try to be a professor in a college if that's what you want to do but then again it's your personal decision i'm just telling you few things that i know about let me know down in the comment section what other topics you want why's and why not so i'm definitely going to cover in the upcoming videos and thanks for your support guys i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye